Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. No. I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colden have to say about all this. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? <sighs> Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you alright? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I, I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sander said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs>